man, you are a cycle breaker. It's time for the cycle. Listen, you get one life. You get one opportunity. It is time for the cycles to be broken. Every cycle in your life that is not life-giving but life-taking, it must be broken now. One step at a time, one move at a time, one decision at a time is broken. One video at a time, one prayer at a time, one jog at a time. Cycle breakers are decision makers. They make wise decisions. A cycle is a series of events that happen regularly. It's just a pattern, it's a paradigm. It's something that we see on a constant basis. There are life-giving cycles and there are life-taking cycles. Somebody somewhere is listening to me at any point in the day. There are cycles that are present that are taking your life. And there are people in your family that have suffered and even lost their lives because of the same cycles. Destiny is a very expensive thing. There are prices that must be paid in order for us to fulfill destiny. One of the prices that must be paid in order for us to fulfill destiny is that I must search and destroy. I don't know who you are, where you're from, but I want you to drop it in the comments right now. The cycle is broken. The cycle is broken. Come on, the cycle is broken. Drop it in the comments. The cycle is broken. All depression breaks off of my life today. All anxiety breaks off of my life today. One weak link can break the chain of a mighty dynasty today. You got to make a decision that you will no longer be the weak link in your bloodline. The cycle is broken. Come on, go to a mirror. Tell yourself the cycle is broken. The cycle is broken. Food addiction is broken. Procrastination is broken. Toxic multitasking is broken. Alcohol abuse is broken. Sleeping disorders is broken. Blaming everybody for what my life doesn't look like or what it does look like. It's broken. Not exercising. It's broken. Drugs can't have me. Every influence that diametrically opposes my destiny can no longer have me. Negativity, self-sabotage, disempowering thoughts and activities can no longer have me. The cycle is broken. For many of us, poverty is a cycle and it was passed down environmentally, generationally. Through your experiences, you learned how to be poor. You learned how to just have a job, go home, and watch TV. And this is that one video, that one speech that's about to change everything. Because the new you is about to flip the table over of procrastination and punch through targets and wake up and realize that at some point you are going to die. You will not live forever in this world. Not this world. At some point you are going to die. And what will you leave behind? What kind of legacy? What kind of history? What kind of story are you going to leave behind? And it's time to break cycles. If anybody knows what it's like to say I'll wait till Monday, it's me. I know what it's like to say I'll start Monday. I'll start that, I'll start that meal plan Monday. I'll start that gym. You start something Monday, you mess up Monday. You go the whole week, you say I'm gonna start again Monday. This Monday mentality is a disease. It's an infection that must be broken, obliterated, shattered over your life. It's gotta be broken through. It is by design that you are listening to me. This is your moment. It's your turn. It's your time. If you're going to break the negative, life-taking cycles in your life, the cycles that diametrically oppose the calling and the destiny that's on your life, number one, you got to become aware. I got to get really aware that, you know what? I got some cycles in my life. I haven't pinpointed them yet, but I got some cycles in my life. Number two, I'm going to have to start identifying what are those self-sabotaging cycles, behaviors, patterns, and paradigms? What are they? I have to be willing to admit them. I have to be willing to write them down and accept the fact that, you know what? There are some cycles that have been set off in my life and it's my fault. I'm no longer playing the blame game. It's my fault I do what I do. It's my fault I said what I said. It's my fault I'm still attached to this person. It's my fault I'm still attached to this place. For many of us, poverty is a cycle and it was passed down environmentally, generationally. Through your experiences, you learned how to be poor. You learned how to just have a job, go home, and watch TV.
And this is that one video, that one speech that's about to change everything. Because the new you is about to flip the table over of procrastination and punch through targets and wake up and realize that at some point you are going to die. You will not live forever in this world. Not this world. At some point you are going to die. And what will you leave behind? What kind of legacy? What kind of history? What kind of story are you going to leave behind? And it's time to break cycles. Once I'm aware and I've examined myself, and once I've identified these self-sabotaging behaviors, all of a sudden, bam, it's written down. I tell people all the time, no takers are world changers. That's why I'm telling you, drop it in the comments, drop it in the comments. Let the world know your next move. I know people always say, don't tell nobody your next move. Sometimes you need some people to like your post. Sometimes you need some people to come into agreement with you. If just one person sees what I said, maybe then I can manifest this thing. And so I gotta be mindful of my interactions. I need to be mindful of the people that I'm surrounding myself with. I need to be mindful of my thoughts. I need to think of whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things have a good report. I don't need to be affirming anything that's not feeding my purpose, that's not, a, that's not empowering me to live an engaged, connected, resilient lifestyle. We've got to unpack these cycles one cycle at a time, one day at a time, moment by moment. This means you gotta, you gotta make those small, meaningful changes. When we're dealing in the realm of habits and patterns and programs, we gotta stop comparing ourselves to others. <clears throat> Somebody didn't fall into the trap you fell in. And if you constantly compare yourselves to those people, you're constantly going to beat yourself up, judge yourself, self-sabotage, and move in the realm of disempowering thoughts. <clears throat> and you gotta snap out of that. One who breaks a cycle doesn't live a lifestyle of comparing themselves to other people. Yes, we want to have those small bite-sized goals, but we also need those broad stroke goals, those targets and aims that are going to take a few years. Invest in coaching, invest in mentorship. Notice I said a coach and a mentor, not an idol. Many of us have been influenced and infected by people who we have idled. And the time is now for that cycle to be broken because they have what you want but they are not who God has called you to be. So there's a lot of people that have a lot of stuff that you want. Their presence, their makeup, their language, they're nothing like you. The worst advice you could hear is somebody that tells you, you good. We're all X, Y, Z. Everybody's X, Y, Z. You better snap out of it and walk straight out of the matrix and jump into reality. It's your time, it's your turn. I don't know who you are. If you have to listen to this a thousand times, do it. Because for most of us, there is something in our life that is looming on the horizon or that is quietly killing us softly. Our own internal pandemics. It's time for you to take the cure to this virus. This virus called procrastination, depression, anxiety, anger. I don't know what this cycle is. And there are healthy cycles and there are unhealthy cycles. There are cycles that give us life and there are cycles that take life from us. Every day somebody dies because of a cycle they refuse to break. Don't make that same mistake.